Hi, good afternoon. I'd like to welcome you to Palm Praise 2. I do thank you for tuning in and peace and blessings be upon you and your family this afternoon. Now we are going to get right back into No Man Can A Hinder Me. We're currently in chapter number 36, which is entitled The Mathematic Experiment. And it reads as such. The opportunity arose in the mid-60s when public school teachers went out on strike for several weeks. I asked school superintendent Dr. Mark Shedd for a hundred black students who scored the lowest marks in math during the school term. He received permission from the parents of a hundred and 14 children and had them bused to BPUM classes at the Church of the Advocate in North Philadelphia. Dr. Shedd and I agreed that the children would be divided into a group, into a control group and an experimental group, each being taught how to do word problems. The most difficult math for black children. I enlisted the assistance of Dr. Clarence Harris, a great math teacher and general electric engineer, who invented the panels which protected spacecrafts from heat destruction when entering the atmosphere. Dr. Harris taught the control group of 57 students how to solve word problems six hours a day from Monday to Friday. I took the experimental group of 57 on Monday, Tuesday, and half a day Wednesday. I taught them they were the descendants of black people who built the great pyramid, the most magnificent structure in the world. I taught them that the black-skinned astronomer priestesses of Egypt gave the world geometry, trigonometry, and calculus. I also taught them that it was Amos, a great Egyptian who created algebra 3,700 or 3,700 years ago. And his book can be found today in the British Museum in London, England. I taught the students that black people only make up 7% of the world's population. Yet with 80% of the gold medals in Olympic track and field. I showed them a picture of a 9,000 year old vase which had the words fraction one half inscribed on it in the ancient Egyptian language. The children were able to witness African reading, writing, and mathematics nine millennia ago. On the other hand, the first European book, the Iliad, was written by Homer about 2,800 years ago. And I taught them many other things. That Friday, we gave the same mathematic test 
and word problems to all 114. Here there are two poor math students. All of the students, not half, not 50%, not 25%, not three-fourths, 75% of the students, no, I said all of the students passed. But the children who studied African American history first and math only two and a half days scored significantly higher hmm, than the controlled group which studied math the full four and a half days. Mm. Interesting, huh? The test was administered and scored by the curriculum department of the Philadelphia School District, which reported the results to Dr. Shedd. Almost. A black African ancient Egyptian scribe created algebra 3,700 years ago. His papyrus, I think I said that correctly, but I'm going to spell it for you, P-A-P-Y-R-U-S, discovered in his tomb in the mid-19th century, was donated to a British museum. The particular problem on this page is solved by means of an unknown quality. Mm. This is the early, earliest excuse me, existence of algebraic procedure. And here is a picture of Amos. Can you see it? Let me get Here's a picture of Amos. Can you see it? Let me get close to the camera. All right, now I'll gradually back up. And this does complete the 36th chapter of No Man Can A Hinder Me. So I want you uh, to take care, be well, and it be at thy will, I will speak with you regarding chapter 37, which is violence in the streets. Mm -hmm. So until then, I will speak with you soon, okay? And on that, on, and on that note, to y'all. Later, y'all.